Hey, this is Reed's Reviews. Today we're gonna to be checking out a Diesel VH4 Distortion Overdrive Pedal. Extraordinaire, I guess, would be a word to put on it. Uh, I've watched some of the other clips that people have had on this, and it really seems like it just makes people have fun playing the guitar. I'm not really into super heavy, hard rock or, or metal. Um, but I tell you what, man, I started playing this thing and I was kind of blown away just by how much power it kind of adds to the guitar. There's a ton of sustain on this and it just seems to make playing the guitar kind of easy. So those are my two cents right up front. Now I'll go over some of the settings and then at the end I'll kind of give you my recommendation on what I think about this. They've intended to have this be a preamp um, in addition to a distortion pedal. Um, the diesel amps, they wanted to kind of replicate, they even say it's not even replication, it's duplication of the preamps that are in their um, amplifiers. Up here we have the, just the EQ stuff and then the gain continues to break up more distortion as you move it to the right. The master volume comes in handy because you can quickly get out of control from a volume perspective if you're cranking up all the all the gain as well as presence. These two, in a way I kind of look at them like the tone settings. This is for treble, this is for um, the bass frequencies. Let's just get going. I'll play a little bit and again like I said I'm not a huge metal guy but this, this pedal just makes you want to play it. So it sounds good. <laughs> it just, it's just easy to play the guitar with it. It's kind of fun. Let's crank some of the gain up. Let's just do this all the way up. It was already pretty gainy. Let's try and let's crank the volume up a little bit so you can hear it better. Just the sustain is nuts. It just goes and goes and goes. Now let's get some presence going. So you hear it a little bit in the higher range a little better. everything up why not not too noisy in the background when you're not playing even with everything cranked up so that's kind of a cool cool deal I left the uh, the EQ part of it untouched um, you, you're gonna know what that does on the back there's two outs one is if you're going into an amplifier another one is if you're going into a power amp so basically a PA system what I think that they they wanted is, is if you're going to use this thing maybe even go into a diesel amp um, you would go through the amp out. There's is definitely a lot less boost in it. I think they're counting on that coming through your maybe your preamp on your amplifier. Whereas when you go into a power amp, there's a lot of boost that comes in addition. If I unplug this, this is a lot louder. This is out of the uh, preamp. You can kind of hear that kind of blows my system up a little bit. Even that, I mean, I'm. I'm going to turn this thing clear down. I'm going into a power amp myself. Um, kind of crazy. So big difference between those two outputs. Another thing that's interesting, this is a 12 to 18 volt input from a power perspective, so it's different than your standard pedals. Not a big deal. It's a big box. 
it's not that full of stuff. It doesn't feel like it's that full of stuff. It feels kind of a little hollow, but at the same time, it's well built and uh, boy, it sure makes playing fun, especially when, you know, kind of harder metal kind of stuff. This is the sustains nuts. It's awesome. If you're into kind of hard rock metal, this is an awesome pedal. So hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.